Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail online for free using Pixlr. Stay tuned. Here we are finally showing you all how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, you can follow along with us directly uh, by using the same software. We'll be using Pixlr today, which is a free online photo editing tool. There is nothing to download, so it makes it really convenient and easy. But uh, you can use whatever you like. If you have Adobe Photoshop, if you use GIMP, whatever you want to use, that's fine with me. But if you're new to this, follow along directly in Pixlr. So go to pixlr.com. And if you watched our photo editing for removing backgrounds using Pixlr, uh, we showed you a couple of the versions of Pixlr here. This Pixlr X, which is the Express version, and also the Advanced Pixlr E. We'll be using the Advanced version today. So before we get started in creating our thumbnail today, I want to explain a few reasons why I think making your own thumbnail is very, very important and never wanting to use a default thumbnail. Uh, using a default thumbnail just seems lazy. It doesn't make your video stand out at all. Uh, the first thing people will see uh, before even watching your video will be your title and your thumbnail. So make sure you have both a catchy title and a catchy thumbnail. Well, what makes a catchy thumbnail? Uh, something vibrant, colorful, also personable. So adding in a photo of you and having some text as well can go a long way. So think about those things first before making your thumbnail. I'm gonna click on create new. What I like about Pixlr here is they actually offer uh, a wide range of already pre-made settings here for Instagram sizing, uh, for Instagram stories, Facebook profile template, uh, Facebook cover as well. Uh, for YouTube thumbnails though, the setting is 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. So that would be this setting right here, web 720p. Otherwise you can't upload your thumbnail if it's the wrong size. So you can see over here, 1280 by 720p. If you click background, you can actually add a background color, anything you want. Uh, but we're gonna actually make uh, our background transparent. So we're gonna click this setting off and let's make sure we rename our thumbnail here. So YouTube thumbnail. I think that's what I already have there. We'll make it in capital letters so you can see that. And we're gonna click create. So there is our canvas right now in the proper dimensions of 1280 by 720p. So the next step is we wanna actually uh, kind of edit uh, the pictures of me. So I always do this first, whatever facial kind of expression I have um, chosen here, I usually edit this part first. So I recommend actually uh, taking some photographs of yourself uh, separately from the video. You can also um, use screen captures from the video, but it may be a bit lower quality. Uh, so I took these earlier on. So our thumbnail today is all about gaming and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. But uh, of course, whatever topic you have, you can kind of cater it to yourself. Now, if your video is exciting, maybe have an exciting kind of reaction shot from yourself expressing that. If it's sad, have a sad shot, happy, you get the idea. So these three, Kind of like this one here. So we're gonna open this one up. And you can see here, it's kind of me reacting, the smile pointing, that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're gonna zoom out a little bit here as well. Now I wanna cut out the background from me and making that background transparent. If you missed our video on this, did a pixel tutorial video uh, last week showing you how to remove backgrounds. I'll show you here really quickly as well. Click on the scissors and the magic wand tool. And I want to mention one thing too, the tolerance level here, you can adjust this. So if you see the magic wand tool cuts out part of what you want to keep, you can lower the tolerance or raise it. The more you raise the number, the more aggressive the tool uses the cutout. So I have it on 43, I'll just show you this right now. And you can see the background is kind of white or gray, and it may blend in with my skin a little bit too, as we try to uh, cut out the background. So let's see what it does here on 50. 
All right, you see my face gets totally cut out there, so that's way too high of a setting. So we'll click uh, Control X or Edit Undo, and we'll lower this down to probably about 12 or so, because the, the wall does kind of blend into some of my skin. I'm kind of very pale to begin with, so we'll click on that. All right, so it's set to 12, and we'll click. There we go. So you see it, it leaves a lot more uh, background behind, but it's not cutting into me here at all. So you can kind of tweak this as you need, test it out. And again, this is the tolerance level here for these cutout tools. Now what's cool, even in the free version of this is you can still use the AI cutout. So go up here and click this. If you have the premium version, which is the paid version of Pixlr, uh, you don't have to do this part. Uh, right now we have to watch an ad so we can use this tool, but it's no big deal at all. Again, if you have the premium version though, uh, it works automatically. I'm going to click continue here and boom, it did a really good job. There we are. Uh, pretty much all cut out. There's a few little things here between my fingers and around here, but we could actually clean that up if we wanted to. Lasso will cut that out. There we go. Kind of round it off a little bit here too. That's not bad. And when we zoom out there, it's such a small area. You don't really see that at all, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, so this is done pretty quick. Going to go to File. We're going to save this. Going to rename it. YouTube Gaming Thumbnail. Going to save it as a PNG and download it. And that will be saved then to our computer close this here all right so now we're going to work on uh, the background the main part of our thumbnail uh, kind of the artwork that will show up in the back so we'll click home all right and we're going to open our template we had open earlier on that we named youtube thumbnail so here is 1280 by 720p so this is our main canvas now we're going to be importing uh, the picture we just cut out and also some background images. So uh, if you're doing something with photography, uh, make sure you, of course, import something that's relevant to what you're showing in your video. If you're doing uh, some kind of tech video on laptops, make sure you have a background that relates to that as well. So make sure whatever your thumbnail is, and make sure it relates to the video you're doing. So we're gonna click home and we're gonna go on to this here. I found this image here. This is a uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe artwork. And this is actually uh, 1080p. So this is twice as big as our thumbnail. So if we would bring this into our current template, uh, you wouldn't see the entire picture be kind of zoomed in. So we're gonna resize this. We're gonna click on image, image size. And we're gonna click this and make it 1280. And the height, go right to 720p and click apply. Perfect. Now, since we resize this photo down to 1280 by 720p, this is actually the size we need for YouTube. So we can actually just start here and use this as our canvas now, but we do have the other file open too, which is here. So we're actually just bring this over pretty easily. Go to home, click on open. So I'll show you how to bring one image over to the other. Uh, we're gonna click the marquee select tool here and just drag the entire dotted or dash line across and select the entire canvas here and we're going to edit and cut i'm going to click home and open up our original canvas here and go to edit and paste and boom there we go so that brings that layer into our original layer here so again those two layers are the same size now so you didn't really have to do that but if you want to see how to import um, one edit into the other you can do that pretty easily all right so this is our background here we're also going to bring in now our photo which we removed the background from earlier we're going to click home and here is our photo now we have this file here we also downloaded the file so we can also upload that if we wanted to if for some reason we clicked this off and it wasn't there uh, we can open an image we already saved the file of course it's always important to save your files 
and see where it downloaded to. And there it is, we're gonna open. Go to original size and apply. Now I need to actually crop this a little bit and this is actually a really high resolution photo. So we actually bring the resolution down a little bit too to fit within our canvas. I'm gonna click on our cropping tool. Get rid of some of the extra uh, excess in the background that we don't really need. And click apply and boom. Let's go to image and resize. I like to do this here because this image is so big. Again, we have our 1280 by 720p. So 1280 means 1280 pixels wide and 720 high. So we don't want our picture to be that big, of course, uh, the picture of ourselves. So I think a good size probably be about 575 or so. Uh, it gives us a height of 627. Click apply and that should be good. You can always experiment with your sizes. So we'll zoom in to this now and this will be about full size here is about let's see 111 percent let's get to a hundred percent here so you can see there you go that's a hundred percent there so that should work pretty well in our background all right so we've got a marquee select here as well and cut out this edit and cut Again, there's always different ways to do different things in editing software. So if you have a different way of doing things, you can feel free to use that way as well. But all right, so here we go. We have a YouTube thumbnail and here is our background. We're gonna go to edit and paste. And there we are. Yeah, so we had a really good size that we chose to resize our picture. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. Uh, I feel your picture should be about a third or so, maybe half of the thumbnail, depending upon what you want to do and how you want to portray uh, the feeling of the thumbnail. Uh, so there's a few things to do. Still, we're going to actually add some text and blur some backgrounds. So let's add the text first. So we have our layers here, the original layer. Uh, and we have Mario Kart background layer and me on top of that. Uh, again, you don't want to have you like this. It'll look kind of weird with your shoulder being cut off and over here. So I'll use it on the left side of the picture here a little bit to make sure they don't see anything cut off of me. Perfect. Okay. So let's add some text. Text box down here. We're going to add the text layer. All right. So let's enter something in here. Um, we're going to type in amazing Mario Kart race exclamation so uh, make your title kind of compelling uh, make it fun interesting and don't type a whole paragraph uh, full sentence is probably more than enough actually probably three four five words max is plenty all right so we're gonna move this around enter our text in click a little arrow we can drag this up here Okay, so we're going to change the color of our text, change the font, and change the size as well. Double click the text box. We're going to make sure our text is highlighted here. At the top is the text editing menu. All the fonts are here. And you may go through here for a while looking for some fonts you like. There's a lot of them, so take your time and see what works best for you. I'm just going to scroll with the scroll wheel on my mouse and see what kind of fits. Something that's kind of cool. Also bold. I think would be good. Let me see, Daddy Day. It's kind of a cool font. I don't want black. I do want it yellow. I think yellow pops a lot. So click on the slider here and drag this up to the top for the bright yellow. Click OK. We can resize this here with the slider as well. Make it nice and big. Kind of fill in a good portion of our thumbnail. That's pretty good. All right, there's also some style settings here. Uh, you can do line spacing, letter spaces, also styles. So I'm gonna click outline. I like putting outlines around my text. It makes it pop even more. So we have yellow text. We use a black border for this. Click OK. And again, be creative here. This is really, this is gonna be your thumbnail, your video. Uh, so these are just some tips and suggestions that really do uh, what you want and be creative with it. All right, we're gonna make the size of the outline a little bit bigger. Maybe to five, not too big. Drag this to five, that's pretty good. And a shadow. Shadows are pretty cool. 
All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna click out of that. That's not bad. I think it's a little bit big. So we're gonna lower the size down to maybe like 150. Type actually 150 be easier. And there we go. I do wanna tilt this too, so you can left click at the top and move right or left. There we go. And you can tilt the text. I'm gonna tilt it like that and drag this a little bit more in the corner like that. All right, so we have everything in place. We're gonna do one more little thing here. You can also bring other pictures into other elements to what your video details. So uh, Mario Kart, I have one more picture I want to bring in, kind of cool. It's this retro uh, Mario Kart GIF. I'm gonna click on this, marquee select, edit and cut, and click home, click on our thumbnail, and we're going to paste. So we have this little guy in here as well. It's kind of cool. In front of me, I'm going to eat. Put him in the corner. I'm going to put him right here, down near the bottom. That's kind of cool. We're going to drag our text, click on the text layer, and bring it up a little bit more to the corner. Again, take your time with everything here. Um, nothing's really set in stone when it comes to thumbnails. Again, though, but keep in mind, uh, the first thing people see is your thumbnail and your title, so make sure you spend some time in making these look really good and make them catchy, both title and thumbnail. And again, you can get a better click-through rate if people uh, can be interested in your video through the thumbnail. There are some text, so it grabs their attention, some vibrant graphics, uh, and it's personable because there's a picture of you. It's your channel. They see your face. People like seeing friendly faces. A few little more tricks I like to do is this. I'm gonna click on our background layer here now. Make sure that's selected. I'm gonna go to filter. I always like blurring the background. That makes the front layers pop even more. That way it doesn't all kind of blend together with all the different colors kind of happening. So click on filter, click on blur. I'm gonna drag the slider down here. I just go to filter and the Gaussian blur. Let's slide this up to about maybe 45 or so. That's at 40. Uh, let's go to 50. If we do too much, you kind of lose focus of what the actual background is. So you can kind of practice and work on this and see what works best for you. Click apply. And there we go. So yeah, it's kind of cool. The background, uh, people see this, they can kind of see it's Mario Kart. Uh, and then of course the text reiterates it's Mario Kart, my hat, me, look friendly. The classic Mario Kart GIF is kind of cool. I'm gonna click on my layer now, my photograph. Click filter, and we're gonna go down to outline. This is a cool little trick for you too. We can make an outline around me, making me pop from the picture even more. Click on the color. Let's go with, we could use red possibly. Yeah, red's kind of cool. Maybe white would be better here. Let's see. White kind of pops a bit better. It's not bad. Click apply, and there we go. And I want to add maybe a drop shadow to me as well. Click filter drop shadow. So lots of options here. See what's available to you, all the filters and tools here. There's lots of things you can do for your thumbnails. So we can offset this, uh, let's see, X. Make it negative so it kind of goes behind me a little bit. And then down, adding the Y axis, moving that down. Opacity, make it a little bit darker. You raise, yeah, raise up a little bit, that's kind of cool, I like that. And don't offset it as much, I like that. All right, we're gonna leave this Mario GIF alone. Again, you can do other things on this one too filter we can outline this guy as well in white if we wanted to click OK we apply we may actually keep that's kind of cool it makes that uh, icon and picture pop a little bit more too so there we go now we have the completed thumbnail click on file and save make sure you go to quality here move this slider up to 100% click on PNG YouTube thumbnail complete 
and download and you are done. So again, keep in mind uh, to express yourself however you want. Work with the tools here in Pixlr. Um, take your time, see what fonts are available, uh, add in some different elements as well. But uh, the few main things I wanna cover again are including a picture of you, adding some text and making it very vibrant. That will help you get more views and maybe more subscribers too on your channel from people clicking on your video. And there you go, how to create a YouTube thumbnail online for free using Pixlr. I hope you all learned something today. Uh, I know I kind of reiterated things a few times, but I do want you to take that home with you. Keep it in your mind when making your thumbnails to add in those three main features. Again, making it vibrant, adding text and adding a picture of you, and then uh, being very creative and artistic with it too. And I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here next time.